Last year, I got the opportunity to go to Cambodia to visit the AIM ministry that we've supported for millions of dollars there, rescuing girls out of sex trafficking. And on the last night, we were gonna catch a flight at 11 p.m. So one of the guys said, hey, let's, before we go to the airport, why don't we go across the street to this incredible hotel? There's an amazing world famous restaurant there. So we go across this uh, street, we go, you know, 15 floors up. And man, it's all glass. The meal is incredible. One of the business guys picks up the bill, which is awesome. And, uh, and I, after the meal, I just went over to the glass and I'm looking out on this huge, incredible city and all the traffic that's going on and all the life that's in the city. And I think to myself, the whole thing is so beautiful, but it's a lie. It's a lie. The perspective of beauty that I see is a lie. See, because... For six days before that nice, beautiful, pretty, artificial meal, I had been walking the streets and going in and out of brothels. I had gone to one place of seven stories high. They brought me up there. There's 50 girls crammed in a little room. You come into the place. There's a plexiglass separating you from them, and they're all just lifeless and dead, almost like they're drugged. And the second they see you, they go into this automaton thing trying to convince you, and you're, you're supposed to be up there almost shopping for girls. I couldn't help it. We were supposed to pretend like... We were customers there, but I just started weeping and crying. Another point, I'm walking in the streets and, 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 and our group is mistaken for customers by this one brothel. And they're like, come in, we'll give you a whole tour. And, and Don, our leader, is like, come on, let's see this for ourselves. So we go in there. I couldn't spend five minutes in there. This feeling was so sickening. And finally, we got to go to the rehabilitation center and there's dozens of girls there. They've all been saved out of sex trafficking and not a one of them is older than six years old. And in my high tower, fancy restaurant view, it looked like the world was beautiful. But I'm telling you, my friends, we got to come down from our towers, get out of our bubbles, link arms with one another. Why does your family matter? Because if your family isn't willing to serve, we can't change this world. We've got to start loving each other and then love them. Because it's broken out there. There shouldn't be a woman sleeping on the floor at the end of her life. There shouldn't be a single child who doesn't know that Jesus Christ loves them. How can we do it? It's simple, it's simple. We gotta love the people around us, link arms with them, and we gotta go serve. Not the words, but getting our hands dirty. Can we do this? Let's do this together.